What is this? Like, is this... Bro, like, retail is dying! Oh god, people are gonna fucking love this video. Holy shit, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna spend three hours in bed tomorrow reading comments. We are gonna analyze some trends. I guess we're just gonna look at US first. For the past, I don't know, probably ever since I said that I was gonna start playing Final Fantasy XIV, there has been a massive amount of people who have been trying to uh, determine for sure which game is dead. What game am I gonna spend eight hours a day on for the next 10 years and at the end of it not feel like a loser well guess what i got news for you it's neither so look guys i'm gonna go ahead and compare some google trends with some of these different mmos and i'm actually gonna look to see and also i want to say this right now that Google Trends is but one metric that you can use to analyze and evaluate which game is popular and which game is not popular. So we're gonna look at Steam charts as well, and we'll look at a few other games for Steam charts, and a number of other games just to, in general, get a better idea of how many people are playing these different games and which ones are popular. So we're gonna look at number one at just the very two obvious biggest MMOs right now, Final Fantasy XIV and World of Warcraft. So this actually kind of caught me by surprise. And I'm actually mainly surprised, I, I am and I'm not, but I've been seeing World of Warcraft, basically World of Warcraft, as long as the developers don't set the game on fire for a few months, people's expectations generally goes up. It's basically like if you haven't ruined the game in the past four months or so, well then, things are looking pretty good. So that hasn't happened for a while, and we're seeing the game actually grow and get a little bit bigger. And this is a good thing, and obviously, there's a lot of people that are happy about it. Now, there are some people that are gonna point to this kind of graph or something like that, and they're going to say, wow, I knew Final Fantasy was just a dead weeb game that nobody cared about and that uh, everybody that thought it was good uh, was wrong and they didn't know what they were talking about at all and they're stupid and there you go. But the truth is, is it's a little bit more complicated than that. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about why and what the different reasons for this are. So this is going to be the main and we're going to look at Albion Online, we're going to look at New World, we're going to look at... Uh, OSRS, Elder Scrolls Online, all the different games on Google Trends and Steam Charts, etc. But what we're really going to do here is we're going to talk about why the numbers mean what they do. And the main reason, BDO, yep, there's another one. Lost Ark, yep, there you go. There's plenty more of them that we're going to look at. So anyway, um, the first thing here, as you guys can see, is that World of Warcraft was just chugging and plugging and going along and it's like look at this especially like let's go ahead and add a little bit more context to this let's go ahead and look at the past five years and also keep in mind this is the united states so final fantasy at this point last year was just it was at a, at a four right it's at a fucking four so I know that there are going to be some people that are going to see this current Final Fantasy graph and they're going to think, wow, we really tried, guys, but we couldn't do it. No, that's not true at all. The fact is that it takes a long time for a game like this to catch on, especially in MMO, especially in a space where people are so invested in other games. And if you look at what I always tell people is like, this is especially true with streaming. This is a mentality that you have to have, like with YouTube videos as well. And and I'm sure you can look at my YouTube videos, uh, Asmongold. I'm just going to pull this up real quick. Some YouTube videos I have uh, do amazing. Uh, you know, this is like half a million views in a day. Another almost half a million views in a day just in two videos right there. And there are other videos that I have that don't necessarily do as well. And that's the way things go. Like for this one right here, only 82,000 people wanted to watch me rank and talk about how great my own content was. But if you look at some of these other videos, they are very, very popular. So it depends on what they really are. And it also depends on, in general, you know, a lot of things. And some of those things are out of your control. The reason why I'm saying this here is because you're going to have videos that don't do too well. You're going to have streams that are the proverbial L. And you have to roll with the punches and you have to keep focused because you can't look at a day-to-day because day-to-day is going to go up down up down up down up down and it's going to always go that way 
But what you really want to look at is long-term trends. And the long-term trend is even whenever Final Fantasy isn't doing well, it's doing better than it was. And that's a good thing. So anyway, stop, ignore chat, search FF, FFXIV. Sure, FFXIV. Let's see. Is there anything else in the world that could be FFXIV? As far as I know, type WoW, FF14. Like, WoW is just, it's like you can't really type WoW and like, what does that really even mean? Like, of course, WoW is going to be ahead. <sighs> like, I don't know. Like, WoW shows... Like, if you look, like, right here, obviously the trends are relatively the same whenever you think about it. But World WoW is actually higher. It's at its absolute highest whenever I actually stopped playing it. <laughs> and then after that, it just went down. And then now as I started streaming it on my second channel, it started going back up. I, I don't know how this happens. It's weird, right? The reason why I look at the online games is because these are curated search results that are all kind of like a bundle of different different search terms that are all put together. Like WoW, Warcraft, World of Warcraft, Azeroth, things like that. So these are like a... It's like a massive kind of amalgamation of search terms that Google Trends has identified all really mean the same general thing. Okay, let's see here. Uh, FF14. Okay. So that one's not doing too good. Uh, let's see. Uh, you, we could try Warcraft instead. So FF14 is about the same thing. Let's try Warcraft. Wow, nobody gives a fuck about that. So that's even worse than Final Fantasy XIV. God damn. And this is only the United States as well. Yeah, Catgirl Final Fantasy XIV. No, it doesn't It doesn't register that high. So this is also right here, only in the United States here. So if you look here, this is whenever I started playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, this right here is whenever Endwalker came out. And um, let's see, I think this is probably about whenever they announced the, uh, the cross-faction stuff. I'll assume WoW will probably keep going up. Uh, WoW is the green one here. So let's see here, my chart looks completely different when I compare it. Oh yeah, and that's probably because you might be in another country. So right now, we're going to look at worldwide, and that's going to give us a much better idea of where each one is, okay? June was TBC. Uh, oh yeah, of course, this was TBC. Right. I totally fucking forgot about this. Yeah, oh, wait, wait one second. June was TBC. Uh, yeah, I guess it went up quite a bit. February 14th, what the fuck happened then? Oh, of course World of Warcraft would be searched very high. That's during Valentine's Day. So let's go over to Worldwide. Okay, so right now this is the uh, the Worldwide search terms for Final Fantasy XIV versus World of Warcraft. And we're also going to go back to, uh, just for the sake of, I, I think it, it's cleaner and better to make each one, to just use the online game. Because again, these are the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? These are the categories that Google has curated. So yes, these are the umbrellas, the conglomerates. There you go. Much better words than I was using. So as you can see here, WoW is growing and Final Fantasy is also slightly growing a little bit, but uh, with the uh, the blue line here. But other than that, I think that you see a lot of people, uh, a lot of people coming back to WoW. As you can see, obviously worldwide, WoW has been a massively popular game for a really, really long time. And I think it kind of goes without saying that's the case. But um, if you look at a few different places in the world here, uh, you see like WoW at 38%. And uh, also if you compare, of course, uh, Japan, Japan is going to have Final Fantasy at 26% and WoW at 38%. Now, I would actually have expected a little bit more. And um, especially for Final Fantasy. Uh, absolutely. WoW is a general term, to be honest. Do you guys want to remove WoW? Because I feel like it's a general term too. Do you want to remove WoW? Okay, yeah. Because like I, I added it in just to see. But I feel like it is a general term. You're right about that. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that term, and I think this will give us a better indicator. Yeah, there we go. And I think it'll keep it cleaner, too. So in Japan, look at that. Change that. Completely different fucking thing. Japan's 99% Final Fantasy for me. Yeah, so in Japan, 63% of people prefer Final Fantasy. And that's where it's the most popular, and in Singapore and South Korea, uh, nearby areas with, you know, relatively similar culture. I think that's what would make sense. So yeah. 
<laughs> oh god, people are gonna love this video. Oh god, people are gonna fucking love this video. Holy shit, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna spend three hours in bed tomorrow reading comments. You can... <laughs> like... How many... T how many times... How many different things do you want me to have to, to search over and, and go over? I, I, I'm not even sure. Lost Ark versus WoW? Look, we can't even we can't even get through this one. We've got to focus on this one first, and then we can move on. Okay, guys, just put Final Fantasy fourteen. It's the most common term. Okay, you fucking happy? Are, are you fucking happy? Like we've got. Okay, I just want to make sure that nobody thinks that this is a rigged election. All right, I don't want to have to go back recount the ballots, and three years later, three years from now, people still think the shit's rigged. I, I don't want to do that. So I just want to make sure, yeah, <laughs> stop the count. Can we please fucking, can we please fucking agree that this is authentic? Can we get everybody to agree that this is an authentic representation? Dead people are voting. Dogs are voting. No, the Russians, the, the Russians, uh, yeah, I mean, the Russians really don't give a fuck about Final Fantasy. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, that actually is kind of true. Yeah, I mean, that, that actually is what the data uh, represents. So, so I'm colluding, I'm colluding with Russia here. Is this really what's going on? Yoshlada versus Sylvanas. Type it in chat, I, I don't want to spell it. Just, just type it in chat, I don't want to talk about it, just type it in chat. No, man, no. No. No, like, that that's not, like, no. Massachusetts? Wait, oh, no, it's worldwide. Let's look at worldwide. Oh, fuck. You know what? I, I think, actually, there's no way it's this... I, I don't... There's no way it's this low. No shot it's that low. I, I will not accept this. I think the only reason why it's this low is because of the apostrophe. It, it's be, it's because of the apostrophe, and that's what it is. Take off the, the hyphen? Okay. Yeah, this is rigged. Yeah, this website sucks. Search Tifa, please? Okay. <laughs> and you know exactly why. And, and you know exactly fucking why. There it is. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus, she has a great personality. It's because of her fighting skills. Yeah, that's clearly what it is. Is this... Is this fair? Can we... I, I just... I want to I wanna move on and actually talk about it. But I can't talk about it because every time I try to talk about it, people are like, Wait up. Hold a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This is rigged. Uh-uh. Like, all right. Do wow. This is fair. Okay. So... F FF14 is, uh, is fair, but WoW is not fair. Asian countries don't spell our name the same way? Oh, well then, yeah, that makes perfect sense then. Scroll down in Trends page. It shows you all the search results under those search terms. Uh, let's see here. Related queries. Uh, Endwalker, Final Fantasy Endwalker, uh, Final Fantasy Sage. Season of Mastery WoW? Oh my god. It's above WoW 2.0? What is this? Like, is this... Bro, like, retail is dying. It, it, it's dead. Wait, look at this. Season of Mastery. WoW TBC Armory. WoW Classic Season of Mastery. WoW Logs TBC? Buy WoW TBC Gold? Okay, WoW Patch 9.15. That makes sense. WoW Patch 9.1 release date. Yeah. WoW TBC Bis. World of Warcraft, sorry, Warcraft Logs TBC, WoW TBC Classic, WoW TBC Gold, WoW TBC Tailoring Guide, WoW TBC Classic Release Date, WoW TBC Server Population, WoW TBC Enchanting Guide, Tula WoW, probably a fucking private server, WoW 9.1 Patch Notes, WoW TBC. Oh my fucking god. You have it by uh, searching by, by rising? Okay, um, top searches. WoW Warcraft... Uh, TBC, WoW Classic, World of Warcraft. I mean, still, I mean, TBC is really up there, definitely. Uh, I don't know how many people, like, yeah, it's impossible to say. Endwalker versus, okay, that's a good one. Let's look at Endwalker versus Shadowlands. I is that fair? Do you guys want to see uh, Endwalker versus Shadowlands? Okay, Final Fantasy, Endwalker, Shadowlands. There we go. Yeah, because here's the thing with WoW, okay? 
This is what a lot of people don't understand about World of Warcraft, okay? Is that there are a lot of people out there who they don't play WoW. They just complain about it on the internet. Like, look how popular these fucking videos are. Like, I've got videos about WoW that have got more views than WoW might have acts of subscribers. Think about it. So that's probably what a lot of it is right there. Is there's people that check in and they keep up with World of Warcraft, but they're not necessarily playing it. That's the truth. That's what's happened. So if you look right here, here's uh, here's Endwalker. This is probably about uh, about whenever it happened. And uh, you have to compare the peaks, to be honest. Th there you go. That's the peaks. I mean, it, 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 I mean, it's red and blue, okay, guys? Like... I mean, do we really have to get down this simple? Yeah, there you go. So so right here, obviously, let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit more. So obviously, World of Warcraft Shadowlands, uh, this is whenever Shadowlands got popular. And uh, also Endwalker, people were talking about both of the games, probably because just of all the drama between the two of them. That's kind of what would make sense. And then Shadowlands has just pretty much, uh, like right about here in October, this was pretty much the worst time for Shadowlands right here. This was the, this is where there was no hope in sight. There was nothing good that was going to happen. It was all bad. Everything was bad. Six months after Shadowlands, exactly. So then here you have right here, obviously this is the release date of Endwalker. Endwalker comes out. Guess what? It's fucking popular. Everybody loves Endwalker. People are talking about Endwalker. People are going ape shit about Endwalker. People are popping off. Add TBC for a nice comparison. Sure, let me finish this right here. And obviously the interest in Endwalker has trailed off as more people have finished the content and they're basically waiting for more content. Meanwhile, people in WoW are still farming their Corthia dailies, hoping that they'll get the magic mount and the magic box. It's a reskin. So that's basically where we're at. Uh, we've got cross faction announced. Uh, we've got you know people looking forward to the next expansion. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you're going to have people talking about WoW and excited about it right now because uh, you know you've got an expansion on the horizon. You've got the company shake up. Obviously, there's a lot of people that are excited about WoW. Now we're going to go ahead and add in uh, Burning Crusade. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. How how is this possible? I, I don't even understand. Yeah, there's the release of Shadowlands right there. The release of TBC. And here's the release of Endwalker. And obviously Black Temple has made a lot more people interested in the Burning Crusade. TBC hype? Unironically. Like, unironically, TBC is the most hyped game. Holy shit. That's nuts. The member berries are strong. Oh my god. More hype for BT than Endwalker? Yeah, and more hype for fucking BT than fucking Shadowlands right now either. Oh my god. That's it doesn't feel like it though? Yeah, it doesn't feel like it at all. This is so I, I didn't expect this at all. This is unbelievable. This is crazy. Bro, like fucking Burning Crusade is massive on Google Trends. This is insane. You get so many viewers playing TBC easy. No shot, man. The last time I played TBC was my lowest viewership month that I had had in six months. Yeah. So I I don't even know that, man. I, I don't know. Well, let's go back over and let's just compare the online games that the World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, and everything like that. Bro, like, Sweden fucking loves. They absolutely, no, they just love WoW in general. Holy shit. So let's add a few more games into the mix and let's see what people are talking about. Hey, let's, I've got a good idea. Let's go ahead and look at New World. Let's look at New World. I think that's a great idea. New World, supermarket company. Uh, it's actually not even a search term on, uh, on Google. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, piece of shit. Okay. So right now we have, uh, obviously this is how, how, uh, how New World was doing. So New World, chugging right along, people are excited about the game, everybody's happy about it. Man, dude, I can't wait to chop some trees. This is going to be litty on a stack. And then right here, as you guys can see, this is whenever New World had its beta. And the beta came out, everybody was talking about New World, 
everybody wanted to see New World. New World was the game to see. It was the game. It was the ultimate and greatest game of all time. And then it went back down. And so then right here we had, obviously, uh, this is a little bit of hype right here for New World. It's right about to come out. People are excited. Maybe I did a few videos about it, etc. And right here you see this is the release of New World right here. September 26th to October 2nd. It came out sometime around there. New World went sky fucking high. It blew everything else out of the water. Everybody was like, holy shit. New World. Wow. That's crazy. New World is so good. And then people were like, hold up, wait a minute. But, like, uh, people were hitting 60. They were starting to, uh, you know, have to realize they had to pay for dungeon runs. Uh, they died and their gear and their inventory took durability damage. Uh, they had to farm Azoth. And then they had to farm more Azoth. And then they were like, you know what, I'm gonna level up a crafting profession, why not? And then they realized they had to make 7,000 pairs of gloves. And then they stopped logging on. And then they didn't log on again. And then they added the gypsum patch. Things were pretty good. Everything's decent, alright, it's not too bad. And then people realized it's pretty much the same thing. And now New World is pretty steady. Let's look at YouTube searches. There we go, uh, New World and World of Warcraft are neck and neck. And uh, right here, New World, bro. New World is good for your uh, is good for your YouTube channel. People fucking love New World. You know what I think is really funny about this is like, let's go ahead and look at the Steam charts for New World and see how many people are actually even playing it. Steam charts. So, sixty-seven thousand people playing New World. So, what does this tell me? This tells me that people are probably watching New World content so much. Because they want to know what's going to happen next. Yeah, they want to know what's going to happen next. And again, uh, the thing with New World, like we're going to compare New World with, uh, let's say, Final Fantasy or something like that. So Final Fantasy obviously got a huge boost right there with Endwalker, and it, it, it's just going down. Now, obviously, there are not only 17,000 people playing Final Fantasy because there most people don't use the Steam charts. So you can use the trajectory to to somewhat discern a pattern, but you cannot use the number. Like the number is indicative of a trend, but the number itself is inaccurate. Uh, does that make sense? What kind of pie is this? It's an apple pie. And it doesn't matter if there's 17,000 or 117,000. Why you choose New World as Word, it's wrong, 100% it's wrong. So you guys think that New World, like there's other search terms with New World that are being included into this that aren't the game. New World, you wanna try MMO? Sure, let's see if I can find it. New World Order, okay, that's good. MMO? New, oh God, thank you guys. Thank you so much, we found it. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so here we go. Um, you, uh, New World, still more popular on YouTube than Final Fantasy. However, um, yeah, th this seems a little bit more right. And let's look at web searches, okay? So this is just on YouTube and on fuck ass. So New World has actually gone below Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy reigns supreme. And it has once again defeated New World. There it is. Congratulations, Final Fantasy Andes. You have defeated New World. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, we're going to look at Elder Scrolls uh, Online in just a minute, okay? So let's go over and let's actually look at Elder Scrolls Online right now. Okay, they just had a new release, so you're going to expect a lot of people that... Actually, you know what? A lot of people. Let's look at Elder Scrolls Online and then we're going to look at Lost Ark, okay guys? Elder Scrolls Online. The Elder Scrolls Online. So Elder Scrolls Online has been not too great, but it has actually gone up. Elder Scrolls Online, uh, this is with the announcement of their video. Uh, so obviously Elder Scrolls Online just announced an expansion, so it would make sense that Elder Scrolls is going up. And as you can see right there, Elder Scrolls is actually doing quite well, and this is on web searches worldwide. Okay, can you include Guild Wars 2 as well? Yeah, we're going to look at Guild Wars 2. The next one that we're going to look at, however, is actually going to be Lost Ark. 
A lot of people have been talking about this game. A lot of people want to see it compared. And we're going to do that right now. So let's take a look at Lost Ark. Lost Ark. Online game. Don't even think about fucking me. There we go. So Lost Ark right here. This is October and November. Uh, I think it would kind of make sense. This is about, yes, this is, this is whenever they did the beta. Uh, this is the beta for Lost Ark right here. And Lost Ark is actually growing quite a bit. Uh, it's gotten much more popular over time. And it's actually more popular now than it was even during the beta, whenever the game was available to play and people were able to watch it. So Lost Ark is actually doing incredibly well. And if you look, I'm sure, uh, let's see here, interest for final uh, Lost Ark is probably Korea, right? Bro, look at that shit. Like South Korea, bro, they fucking love that game. Like, that is their game. That's that's like, that's what they do. That is what they fucking do over there. RuneScape? Uh, let, let's take New World off the table here. And let's go ahead and use RuneScape instead. And actually, yeah, here in, uh, let's look at United States. The United States is showing 42%. Wow. Um, uh, New World at 18. Final Fantasy at 14. Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls for the United States is at 25%. Imagine that. 20 fucking 5% Lost Ark 1%. That is a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know how that happens. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me either. Yeah, there you go. Your graphs are so fucked up, Asmon. Uh, I feel like they're kind of fucked up too, if you want my honest opinion. Because how could Lost Ark be so low? Because here in the United States right here, look at this. Lost Ark at 7%. Uh, only 7% of people are looking at Lost Ark. Look, you see that? No Western release? Yeah, I think so. Let's look at YouTube search. This is YouTube search. Lost Ark obviously is just getting massive for YouTube. It, it's it's on the same level as World of Warcraft right now because everybody is looking up Lost Ark videos. Uh, I think it's very weird how only 2% of uh, the people in the United States are actually looking at Lost Ark videos. That seems so fucking wrong. Uh, yeah, it seems so, so, so fucking wrong. But yeah, that's where things are looking right now for YouTube searches. Yeah, there you go. And anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to move on to the next game. And the next game that we're going to look at is going to be RuneScape. So RuneScape, online game. Uh, old school RuneScape and RuneScape. I don't know how like each one is going to be. Holy shit. Wait, oh, that's wow. For a second, I oh, wow. Okay, RuneScape's only 9%. I think old school RuneScape. Let, let's do OSRS. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, old school RuneScape is much higher. So RuneScape is higher than um, uh, Elder Scrolls and also Final Fantasy. It's on YouTube. Yeah, this is on YouTube as well. So let's go ahead and look at web searches right here. As you guys can see, obviously, um, RuneScape is just popping the fuck off. People love RuneScape. There's a lot of people playing RuneScape, and there always has been. Uh, there's many, many people. It's been popular for, what, decades now. So it makes sense that RuneScape is just continuously uh, continuously actually growing and getting more popular. Now, I think one thing that's really interesting with all of these graphs, this is something that I think for sure, isn't it crazy how every MMO is going up? A lot of people are searching and looking for more MMOs. Yeah, that's actually, that that's good. Like, this is a good thing. No, no matter what you uh, what game you play or anything like that, uh, this is certainly a good thing. Absolutely, fucking lootly, man. FFXIV. So it, it, it's going to show the same stuff. It's going to show, like, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Probably going to show the same thing. There you go. It's slightly more, slightly less, depending on which search term you use. But in general, this is what the trends are. And uh, Genshin Impact. Okay, we'll try Genshin Impact. That could be fun. Uh, let's look at Genshin Impact. Okay. You fucking kidding me? I might have to start playing it now. This is what we've got to do. We've got to, we've got to play Genshin Impact, guys. This is it. We fought a good fight, but it's over now. And we have to recognize that the tech tone was right all along. 2D really is greater than 3D. <laughs> How is this possible? Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I guess people do have phones after all. Black Desert Online. Let's see where it is. Yep, that's about right. Um, Black Desert Online, it's just uh, not super popular, and it's also not really that big of a surprise. 
Now, I think, yeah, obviously Final Fantasy XIV in Japan is just fucking massive. And um, old school RuneScape is, uh, is very big as well. Uh, I feel like these Lost Ark numbers are wrong. Like, I, I really just, I, I cannot accept that Black Desert Online has seven times the amount of online presence and searches actively than Lost Ark that's about to come out in like a few days. But who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? Maybe it's been released and that's why. It's hard to say. And uh, PoE, I'm not going to go through every game. I just wanted to go through MMOs. But hey, if you guys want anything to make you depressed, let's go ahead and search this. Fuck. Oh, wow. Wait, it's not even that high. There's no, no shot. No shot it's not that high. No shot. Okay, let's do Minecraft. Minecraft is a better example. Yeah, because it's a... <laughs> it's just it's just not fair, man. It's just not fucking fair. Just not fucking fair, man. Can you believe that? Wow. Look at this. Holy shit. Look at Ashes of Creation. There's not really much uh, hype around the Ashes of Creation because the content's not out right now. Uh, we'll have to wait for some actual content to come out, and, and then we'll have a better idea of uh, what to expect with Ashes. So yeah, I wouldn't really look at that right now. Japan though? Oh yeah, Japan obviously. Yeah, that's the one place where Final Fantasy reigns supreme. Check League of Legends. Um, sure, I'll check that. Holy shit! Bro, what? No shot. Really? Okay, what about YouTube search? Uh, it's just like, I'm so fucking sick. I'm so sick of this shit. So sick of this fucking shit. Oh my god, man. It's just not fair. Time for Minecraft speedruns? Oh man, I'm gonna have to message Slat and see if he can get me into the Dream SMP, man. But Oh no. Does this mean I'm gonna get cancelled every week if I do that? That is crazy. Check MMO population data? Why would I check MMO population data? What the fuck do they know? It's just a bullshit website. Let's go ahead and pull up this website real quick, okay? Most popular MMOs. So, um, let's see. Uh, current subs- where's current subscribers? Most played? Uh, active players? So, Path of Exile was actually number one. Uh, Path of Exile was number one. Warframe, number eight right here. Look at Wildstar. Where is Wildstar? Uh, Wildstar is not on the list. Terra has zero players online. Uh, yeah, it, it's literally closed. Uh, let's see. Most played, uh, most growth, uh, Mortal Online, Lost Ark. I think all of this kind of makes sense. EverQuest is growing as well. Can you imagine that? The site is dog shit. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't take this site seriously at all, okay, guys? Uh, I would not take it one bit seriously. Yeah, most played MMO games. Estimated 3 million daily players. So what do you guys want to bet that Minecraft has more people playing it than Final Fantasy? Like, if you had to guess what game is bigger, is Minecraft bigger than Final Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah. So this is exactly what I mean. And it's not even close. Like, Minecraft probably has more active daily players just in the United States than all of these other fucking games have in the entire world. It's, it's not even remotely close.